I'm gonna be honest. I would consider myself a man of character and distinction. That woman is not on my menu. Hey guys, we're back with another video, Meet the Simmons. Here with Enough Said. Today you wanna to go through a video that I think has been making its rounds on social media, but it's hilarious and funny, but I think it, it I think it has a very salient point to it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and start here. And jump right <laughs> I'm into the video. Already. I'm already laughing. I'm upset and I'm gonna let you bitches know that I'm upset. It's got some language, taking so. these wonderful, fine ass, educated, sexy ass women and turning them into the And then it's a bitch like me. Me, who just want to be loved, who will love that man abundantly, abundantly. with love and with pleasure. <laughs> but you hold that home so won't even cook, <laughs> won't even iron no clothes. At least he respected his daddy. He respected his wife, and that's why I respect him. Cause I didn't see the ring until after I seen the ring. But guess what? He never violated that woman. Given the chance, I'm gonna be a good ass wife. You hold slip, it's gonna be my life. I'm. A <laughs> well, she said what she said. <laughs> she said what she said. All right, so woman, what what did you think of this, this this very animated, hilarious young young sister here, as our sisters tend to be? What do you think? Um, I see both sides of it. As a married woman, I definitely see that. Um, when you are married to your husband, mm -hmm. there is not just the work of trying to attract him and being attractive to him, but then there's the consistent work of maintaining that relationship. Part mm -hmm. of that maintenance is going to be taking care of yourself, the upkeep of how you look, the upkeep of um, you know your appearance, your body, all of these different things that um, sometimes we as married women kind of let go by the wayside. And then we get an attitude or upset if we think our man is looking elsewhere. So there's a certain level of upkeep that we have to keep for ourselves so that we remain attractive for our spouses. And that's just one part of it. I think another thing that's really important is um, also as a wife, you, you, you want to make sure that you are constantly working on yourself that you are doing the work of making sure you're healed and whole and all that, that it encompasses, that you wanna make sure that you're a healthy individual in the relationship, that you're not just like, well, he, you mine now, so oh, well, mm -hmm. here it is, this what you get. No, there's a level of work that needs to to happen to keep you interested and intrigued mm -hmm. so that you, you're not really tempted to wander or to look elsewhere. So I think that's part of it um, that she was kind of addressing like, oh, y'all playing around out here mm, it's real. and I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm waiting. Yes. I'm waiting for my shot. I'm trying thirsty. to get, I'm, I'm, if we double dutch it, I'm waiting on my jump in and then I'm, mm -hmm. re I'm ready to, to take my shot. So I understand her point of it. I think on the other side of it, um, my question is, why are you still on the market? Why are you still, you know, you, I'm waiting on you to slip. Why aren't you at the level where you're turning ahead already and the guy's like, whoa, I need to hurry up and get her off the market. So you're available. You look like you're probably 30s, early 30s. So, I mean, that's fine. And, you know, everyone gets married whenever or whatever. But my thought process is, OK, you're waiting for someone else to mess up. But why aren't you on the bench already? Why aren't you, you know, kind of in, in line for someone to really wife up is my is my thought process. Yeah. Well, so what do you think from a male standpoint? I see she's absolutely right. Um, there are a lot of men that walk out of their homes every day. These are successful, good looking, in shape, uh, good men. Mm -hmm. They walk out of their homes every day not knowing that. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that. I talk to them all the time. Uh, we have a problem in America right now. There are a lot of sexless marriages out there. A lot of people are not having sex. It does the. I saw a study the other day that shows that Americans are just not, married people just aren't having sex anymore. Mm -hmm. They just aren't. One is because everybody's too busy. Two is because everybody's looking outside of the relationship for validation. So they're having sex just not with their partner. <laughs> That's men and, men and women, by the way. Um, so there are a lot of men that walk out into this world every day and their wives are not doing their job. 
And we can talk about what the men are doing, but we're going to address specifically what happened in this video because mm-hmm. I'm tired of that crap, that deflection thing that everybody do. As soon as you touch a nerve, well, what about, no, we're talking about what we saw in the video right here. We saw a woman that was talking about what she knows to be true. And single women know this. Mm-hmm. Single women know that, that a lot of married women don't handle their business because they talk to them. Yeah. A lot of, because cause then y'all jump on TikTok and YouTube and all these other platforms and complain about your husbands. So you actually detriment to yourself. Mm-hmm. And these single women, single women know that married women don't put out. They know it. There's a whole lot more to the equation. I get it. But single women, if you talk to them, they know. They know once once the once woman gets married, she's especially if she has kids. It's it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And so it's very important, ladies, that you understand that there are women like this woman out here. She's not a bad looking lady. Mm-hmm. She's not a she's bad looking it, lady man. at all. That women out there that are waiting. Because mm-hmm. one man's trash, another man's treasure. Same thing for a woman. She's waiting for you to slip up. She's waiting for you to have that moment where you just, ah, I'm tired and all this stuff like that. And then it's just about sex. It's about all. It's about the what comes with being a wife, mm-hmm. being respectful, being understanding that this man has is going through a lot. Even though he may not be able to voice it or may not be able to have the words for it to explain to you exactly what he's going through. Men go through a lot in in our society in our society today. We have to worry about everything. You know, I was just having a conversation with some of my boys this morning about how we have to be on our jobs interacting with, with ladies now but the danger of yeah. being accused of something and it doesn't matter if you did it or not the accusation is enough to end your career mm-hmm. so we were, talk, we were talking about that this morning there's a lot that men have to handle that people don't maybe realize the pressure that's on us Yeah. but also for the young lady in this video I'm going to be honest I would consider myself a man of character and distinction that woman is not on my menu she's not she's not worth me losing this for that that's a fun girl. That's a fun girl. And I'm going to tell you why she's a fun girl. First of all, her language. Her language. A woman that has a foul mouth is not a wife. I'm sorry, ladies, you can mail you want to. They might be punching the air. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and that's not, that's not really a wife to a man, the, the man of distinction. We don't really, men don't really... We keep that stuff at the barbershop, basketball court, all that stuff like that between us. You don't really like a foul mouth woman. Just don't. It's just it's not a, it's not a good look. And on top of that, she's all over social media. You can tell she's used to being on social media. She's putting this stuff out there on social media, unedited, just throwing it out there. That kind of woman is not really what a, a man is looking for. So that man she approached, apparently he was very physically attracted to her at least and, mm-hmm. and to her friend. Apparently her friend was the funniest part in the background. Apparently he was a very attractive man. And he loves his wife, obviously, and has character distinction. And yeah. and she would probably go into the character of fun girl. Even if he were to do something with her, it would just be doing something with her. He going home to his wife. And that's what a lot of you ladies understand. Just because a man will sleep with you, just because he'll he'll keep you as as a jump off or whatever they call it nowadays, I don't even know what they call it, um, doesn't mean that you're gonna you're gonna replace his wife. He gonna go he gonna get out the bed with you, put his pants back on and go home to his wife whom he loves, because men can do that. I know yep. you don't like to hear it. I know. You, well, we could. No, you can't. No, no, women, you can't do that. You get caught up in your emotions. A man can sleep with you today and go home and love his wife just the same. Doesn't make it right, but that's what it is. You gotta. You gotta. We gotta get out of this paradigm shift that everybody's equal. We're all the same. We're not. Nope, we're not. We're not. We just. We just aren't built the same. Is 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 perfectly fine. We just need to accept it. So, <clears throat> I see it from that standpoint. This young lady is not. Even though she's attractive. She, she's not on the menu for a wife. And I think that's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, my, my thought process again was, why are you even still on the market? So yeah. in my opinion, I agree with what you're saying wholeheartedly. I think the assumption is that any woman can be a wife, and that's just not true. Not all women are wives. Not all, and men, it's not a, all men are husbands. And not all men are husbands. There's a distinction. There's a difference. <clears> and <throat> there's a grooming that comes into being a wife. Yeah. And you're may, not, and it may seem like we're coming out hard on this young lady. We don't know her. I don't no. know this lady. Obviously, I'm sure, I'm sure she's a perfectly sweet individual. But one thing we do know is, in ten years of coaching and counseling, I know the female nature. She knows the male nature, and I'm telling you right now, that kind of attitude. A lot of women want to be wives until it's time to be a wife. Mm-hmm. They want to be kept until it's time to be kept. 
Like, it, because they don't understand the kitchen conditions that come along with it. That man's wife is having to deal with certain things because she's married to that man. Mm-hmm. There's certain things he has to deal with because he's married to that woman. Mm-hmm. And a lot of you ladies aren't ready to be a wife because you haven't seen it. You just want it. It's like wanting to own, want to own a foreign foreign vehicle. A lot of dudes, oh man, that new Audi, this, that, that. You don't know about the that, maintenance that come I'm along with it. I'm about to say, what's that joker breakdown? You got to get yeah. the service. You don't know about <laughs> the maintenance that come along with yeah. it, the servicing, the, you know, yep. you can't put just any old gas in it. Nope. Like, you want that, but you don't know what comes along with it. And it's the same yeah. way with ladies with a, with, a, with a husband. And a lot of men with wives, they want to own a wife. You think you have a certain thing you think they are, but that's really not what it is. And it's a quick litmus test to see if you actually are wifey material. It's really quick. Are you able to submit and who do, who are you submissive to? Mm-hmm. Do you submit to authority? Can you submit to authority? Can any, there's, does anyone in your life have the shut up and sit down card when you become mm-hmm. out of pocket and you're a little bit too much? And I'll be like, well, girl, not the way we do it nowadays, girl. It's going to be all right. You know, mm-hmm. no, no, no. You're, you're looking stupid out here. Like th- that level. Shut mm-hmm. your mouth, sit down, and let's have a conversation because you're looking real stupid. Like, who has that in your life? And who do you listen to? Who are you submitted under? And Because if you are going to be a wife to a husband, that is what you're going to have to do. Yeah. If you're going to have a successful, healthy, traditional marriage. Now, mm-hmm. a lot of people have these little arrangements nowadays, <laughs> and they, I don't know what they're doing. But I'm talking about a healthy, successful marriage. Are you able to submit to a man? Can you do that? And there's so much more to it than you think. And that's why premarital counseling is of the utmost it importance. Is so there is important. so many of you guys out here getting married and oh. don't even think, let me go talk to a counselor, let me talk to a coach, let me figure out what this person, let me get a third person's opinion, not just my homegirl, not just my mom and dad, but an impartial party that can tell me, that can actually sit down and pick us apart. And that needs to be done six months out from the wedding, guys. You need yes. to be on, you need to have six months of marital coaching before you even think about walking down the aisle with somebody. And we offer it. So we do inboxes, sure. but yeah. the, but it's needed. Don't just don't just it's worth the investment. It is. The five hundred or a thousand dollars it's gonna cost you to get that done is far be- a better investment than the tens of thousand dollars it's gonna cost you in divorce court. I mean and it's expensive and, and the price emotional keep going pain. up, yeah. It is so important. There are so many mishaps and things that happen in coaching and counseling that could have been prevented and caught early on. It just saves so much turmoil and drama. It just does. So I am begging you, if you are a clergyman and you are marrying a couple, please, oh, please, oh, please encourage them to get the counseling. If it's through you, great. If not, refer it out. It is important. We have to stop just saying, okay, yeah, get on my book. I'll get you married. Let's go. No. We really need to talk about some things. We need to understand some things. There are nuances that need to be talked about. So please, I urge you. So with that, (laughs) it's enough enough said. said.